What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dove coming at y'all with a new video here, man. Finally got a new update for the channel. It's been a couple days. Um, if you've been on the channel lately, man, you know your boy been going 10 panel crazy around here. So um, this video right here will be brought to you by the one and only Struggle for King. Uh, as I said, I believe it was my just previous video to this one. Um, I said I think I, I I think I said it on that one. Uh, that I have some stuff on the way due to Subwoofer King. And what you can see right here in front of you, that is a SVR8 Dual 2 8 inch subwoofer. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the box for it. But for real, for real, uh, this video is due to the man Subwoofer King. He has some stuff that he did unbox on his channel. Uh, Y'all know how I get. Curiosity was killing my cat. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and order that, man. Killing my cat, I don't know, that don't sound right, but we'll, we'll let it ride, man. So let me go ahead and unbox this. Yeah, I know what I usually do, cut the top uh, to make it easier for the video. Um, starting to look like I probably should have did that for this one, but um, we'll make it work nevertheless. Throw that right now and just start ripping stuff. All right, so in true score fashion, they packed it with some paper. Let's go ahead and pop the top off of this and get all that good old brown bag out of the way. Because like I said, score is good for that right there. So brown bag. More brown bag, but y'all see there is a little box in here. Whoop. Didn't mean to hit the camera stand, but yeah. So like I said, man, Subwoofer for King did unbox something not too long ago. And it was, I believe his were six and a half as well. Uh, but we got the NPX uh, 6.5 inch speaker, eight ohm. Obviously designed in USA, made in China. What isn't made in China, uh, but these are the Scar Neo six and a half inch speakers. Uh, I do have a pair, so there's another one down there. Uh, let me get this stuff out the box, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, so we got the speakers out of the box. Uh, like, once again, man, Scar packed them with the brown bag. They got me brown bagging it. Um, hopefully, these things are messed up. Um, Y'all know how I go, man. Shipping Scars out of St. Petersburg. Uh, at least that's where the uh, they're shipped from. All the way halfway across the country, but yeah, so just to elaborate, I got some MPX uh, 6.5 inch speakers, obviously the 8 ohm version. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the top off, see what we got ourselves into. Uh, but yeah, the um, cardboard box warehouse continues on, man. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully, uh, these are in good shape. I mean, clearly I'm not pressing if they're not. Uh, keep it all the way 100. I just bought these speakers that have them, and I'm thinking uh, probably using them on a test bench and seeing what's up with that. Uh, but I do want to maybe put them in a the car for a little while just to see how they sound. Nice. All right, so we had them in the box. Uh, they came in this box here, and they're in that box there. Let's see if she'll slide out of there for us. All right, so now you have the actual product and uh, company box right there. Some more tape. Come on. You know what's screw I'll just cut it. So what happens when you don't have nails. All right, so now that I'm doing this unboxing, man, I'm getting a little bit more confident on this. You got your uh, user manual uh, for our, everything from the 6.5 to the 8 to the 10. Go ahead and open that up. 
So when it comes to the six and a half, they're 150 watts RMS, uh, 300 peak, two ounce Neo magnet. Obviously this is the eight ohm. Hopefully y'all can see all of that there. 93.6 dB. Uh, so they should be able to get pretty doggone loud. And of course, Scar is always good for sending us that good sticker. And there's that good speaker, man. All right, let's get this joker. Man, this thing has no weight to it whatsoever. A freaking UFO, man. Look at, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I was, I'm just going to go out there and say a slim amount design. Uh, no girth to it whatsoever. Man, imagine pulling this out. If you got the girl like a first date, you whipped it. <laughs> Let me stop, man. This is a nice speaker. I'm, man, I'm digging this. Like, this thing has no weight on it whatsoever. This is definitely one of those deals, like, you kind of have to see it in person. Um, man, the exposure's going crazy now. Um, this is literally like one of those deals. Um, let me not break it. Um, you literally have to see it in person. It's like seeing it on the website is one thing, uh, but seeing it in person is a whole nother, man. Let's go ahead and set that down. I thought I was in good condition with the Neo. Um, hopefully y'all can see in the background, it's kind of blurry, uh, but there's a Neo speaker back there, the Timpano uh, TPT Neo 6. Uh, let's see where I want to go with this box. Uh, we're going. All right, screw it. That fell on the floor. You might as well go down there too. All right, so let's get the other one out. Um, man, I, I can't explain enough how shocked I am and how slim this speaker is. That's the product box. This is literally probably like a, a two inch uh, mounting depth on these. I was gonna grab the other one. We'll, we'll grab the manual out of this one and see what it says. Cause it's probably gotta be every bit of a two inch mounting depth on that and to get 150 watts rms out of that speaker it's got to be nice especially with a 93.6 db so pretty good sensitivity on it for a pro speaker at least try to do the same with this slide that out of there All right, so let's see. Hopefully, I, hopefully it says it on here. All right, so yeah, 93.6, uh, 93.6 on the sensitivity on the DB there. Uh, frequency range of 166 hertz. Yeah, it doesn't say the mounting depth, or I guess maybe, I don't know. Could C be it? Yeah, let's go. Uh, C, B, C, D. Um, that 5.6 inches, I don't see that, man. I don't see it. Hopefully y'all can see that up there. I'll try to put that on there. This is the graph uh, referring to these numbers over here. Um, like I said, 5.63, I don't see it. Uh, but... Hey, at the end of the day, Scar, they made it, so I would go based on what they say. All right, so same deal for this one. Let's get her on up out of there. All right, so once again, man, uh, shout out to my man, Saw Wolfer King. Uh, all of these products that you see right here in front of you are courtesy uh, due to his video. Uh, like I said, man, he had did unboxing maybe a week ago. Uh, then he did do a sound comparison of these speakers versus the FXX. Uh, so he was very intrigued with these as well. And seeing how excited he was about these speakers, I said, you know what, man, let me go ahead and give it a try. And literally, I got three fingers on it. Well, now two fingers. And literally, y'all, this thing has no weight to it whatsoever. Nice. So let's do this, man. I'm gonna do some comparison. Hold on just a minute. Let me get a tape measure 
and take a look at these NPX uh, six and a half versus those uh, to panel six and a half. Just a moment. All right, folks. So I just had to put this in there, man, because like I said, just got these cars, um, NPX speakers. I believe last week or whenever I got these to panel uh, six and a half. So y'all can see, man, there's a good gap. Didn't mean to hit that, but uh, y'all can see there's a good gap uh, as far as the mounting depth on these SCAR speakers compared to those two panels. Uh, so I might as well go ahead and put two up here. Uh, so once again, you could kind of see that right there. There's a good gap about it. SCAR is saying that these need a 5.63 inch mounting depth. I don't think so. That speaker ain't even two and a half. Well, I don't know, maybe maybe with the bullet it could be about two and a half inches uh when it comes to these to uh to panels uh they're about two and three quarters man so maybe two and a half inches but like i said i don't know if the speaker needs room to breathe um but yes it's just a nice steel basket looks like steel basket to me uh with a nice little neo magnet and there's it's kind of it's smaller uh, but it pokes out more. Uh, the 10 panel magnet is more wide. Uh, but to me, the basket on the 10 panel is better or nicer. Just, just in my opinion, uh, as far as how it does on these speakers plan, uh, what I actually want to do, and I think I probably will go ahead and do it uh, when I get my new door panels in. I uh, got those. Hopefully they should be shipping maybe today or tomorrow. I want to do these in one side of the car and then these on the, on the other. And, you know, like I said, pretty much just get them planned and figure out what we come up with, man. So, uh, once again, shout out to my man, Silver for King. Uh, Scar should probably holler at you and give you something, man, because this purchase happened due to you. So, at the end of the day, uh, marketing does work. Uh, so, all you car audio companies, y'all want to shoot me some products? <laughs> I don't care if 100 people's watching or 1,000 people's watching, man. At the end of the day, if I do a product unboxing, I'll say, hey, man, this thing is good to go. More than likely, it might get you a sell or two. So if that happens, it's well worth, um, I don't know, a $500 subwoofer, a $200 subwoofer, <laughs> anything, man. But yes, uh, shout out to my man, Subwoofer King. Uh, Scar should kick you down something because I've totally bought these due to your video. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, maybe... Uh, if I go ahead and go through with the test bench uh, setup, I'll probably go ahead and keep these and use a minute. If I don't and they get the land around, God only knows. Uh, so we'll go from there, man. Uh, Y'all know the deal. It's your boy on Dub. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I try to get back to everybody. Um, these right here are for the 2022 build. These right here, we don't know. Uh, but we will figure something out, man. Like I said, I do want to do a comparison uh, speaker versus speaker and go from there, man. So... Y'all know the deal. What is this, September? Labor Day weekend just passed. Hopefully y'all had a good time. Uh, unofficial end of summer, but technically still three months to go. So we'll say it, two zero, two one. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you gotta take it. But all oh, this stuff in the background is for two zero, two two. Let's go there, two zero, two two. If your mirrors ain't shaking, Damn it, you got to take it, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, a lot more stuff on the way, a lot more stuff to come. We'll go from there, man. Stay tuned to the videos. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate y'all watching the videos. Um, did finally get that stuff out of the way. Uh, that's hopefully, I didn't keep the track of them right. I sent it to Quentin, so that stuff is on the way to him. Uh, as I've been saying, I'm in a given mood. Um, so... I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I, I just, I've been hollering a lot of people. Cole Morris, shout out to him. Uh, Tim Gass, PRV. Uh, Dan Costa, who's the uh, CEO of PRV. Uh, shout out to those individuals, man. They've been hollering back at me as far as uh, ideas for the setup this year, man. So we'll go from there and figure that out. Uh, but anything that, except for these right now, we don't know what might happen in the future. Uh, but pretty much anything that's on this table that I don't use, could be going out the door, man. We'll get that figured out and we'll go from there, man. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, and comment on the videos. Uh, share them all that jazz, man. I definitely appreciate everybody watching the videos. Stay positive. Stay tuned. More to come, man. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.
Hey everybody, it's your boy Young Dub here, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just know that your thumbs are appreciated. Make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll see the videos when they pop up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the best unboxing videos in car audio, man. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.